Welcome back to the very obvious living quarters. Of the dead. Yeah, as we stand here with a necromancer and his army of <coughs> death. Yeah. Welcome back, people. Welcome people back. That's what we just yeah, did. Exactly, I was about yeah. to say that. That's what I just did. Um. A weeble wobble, weeble wobble. Uh huh. Why is it so big though? Like, holy hell, man. <laughs> That's what she said, isn't it? <laughs> I wish. Oh, something is whispering in my ear. Wow. Like, in, in your it's room only, or? It's only the beginning. <clears throat> no, not in my room. In my ear. Yeah, but is that whispering entity in your room or is it in the game? In a game. Uh, well, do you know for sure? Have you checked? Yes. Ah, so you got scared. What? No. And why did you check? Oh, shit. Uh, well, technically speaking, I see my entire, you know, living space in front of me, so... Jesus Christ, you really goddamn chameleon. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't have to check, it just, you know, it's in my, in my vision from the start. Alright. Starting to paint a clearer picture of how your... how your uh, <laughs> eyes are aligned and everything. It's just... Can you move them separately? Of one another? Yes. I see. Not as much as you though. Like, I think you see more. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. I know you're allergic to bad humor, but come on. I'm in his lair. There's a, 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 a secret passage. Right here. Called the oh, ominous dang. lair. I think we're nice. I think we're gonna fight a big spider. Yep, big spider. Not just one. Oh, that's a lot of poison, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's a lot of poison and damage. Stop it. Oh boy. There's loot to be looted. No, really? Yes. It was one little spider web thingy. Why does it keep plopping? Plop I mean, why not? Yeah, fair point. So, uh, you know. I mean, the loot is kind of meh. I don't know, I got one blue thing. Really? I just got yellow crap. You got more spiders up here. You're just trying to catch up in experience. I you keep running off, trying to kill shit. To I need to catch up to the times where I'm looking at stuff and you're already five miles away. I don't, I don't understand why I'm so far ahead though in experience. Yeah, I don't get like, it either. Mm. It, it, it really cannot be like I, I am, I'm two feet away from you and I suddenly have 400 more experience. It, it doesn't work like that. It shouldn't work like that. <laughs> no, exactly. It don't make sense. So here we go into the abandoned storerooms. Oh, I got a cool looking mask. Too bad it's fucking shit. <laughs> well, I don't know if this. Oh, uh, yeah, this could be an interesting offhand to you. Hold on a second. Just give yeah, me a gat. Why do you keep running? Why are you running? There, w there was loot, man. I want to pick up loot. Let me pick up loot. Uh, check this loot out, man. It's way more interesting. Ooh. Yeah, that's really not bad. Mm hmm Really not bad. Problem is, my offhand gives me 20% to all damage for pets. But this one gives plus one to all skills and necromancer. Yeah, I can't wear it though. That's not my fault. I mean, I need five more levels, so I'm, I'm gonna yeah. have to grind. I did not pay attention to the level uh, requirement. Yeah, Im imagine you paying attention. What? I I have we have an episode that is literally titled K 
Kato doesn't pay attention. I mean, why would I? Yeah, exactly. Well, and what would I even pay attention to? Me! Who? I'm... Fuck you. <laughs> Maybe later. In a laboratory, at a laboratory. Adderall. Adderall. Oh, I see there's gonna be some reading that we'll have to do. Me. That we will have to do, I said. <laughs> oh. You and your... I, I, I could have sworn you said you. I think we should read it in unison. Oh, it's Zenbrand. I just picked up some paperwork of his. That was lovely. Oh, well, now nah. we missed the chance to get a to get it signed. Oh. Could have been worth a lot, maybe. I doubt it. You never know. He was a bit of a dick. God damn it! it keeps going on with all these ether crystals and things. I just want to go back for a second and pick up that thing, because I think it was laying there, yeah, Zamran's notes. Oh, it was laying there? Yeah, for me. Alright. Yeah. <coughs> Zamran's notes. My colleague Gerthen took his life today. That short-sighted fool. He can never see the big picture and his project was no different. Gerthen Gethrend could not fathom the glorious vision of the Ethereals and the role we will play as early human collaborators. This isn't about personal gain. We will elevate humanity. Certainly there has been a cost in lives, but progress always has a price. So what if the dirty masses will perish in a glorious dawn when the ethereals reveal themselves to the world? To the ethereals we are like some base primitive creature, as the slith are to us. Those of us who will serve, or better yet, bond with an ethereal, shall forge a new human future. That sounds kind of kinky. Mm, definitely does. Where do I sign up? Bond. Bond with me, daddy. Oh. Oh, half damn. Whoops. <laughs> Premature ejaculation. It happens to the best of us. Why can't I not shoot through the prison bars there? Come on. Your aim is so good, you actually constantly hit the bars. That's... that's Surprisingly sweet of you. Uh oh. Ominous squeak. Ominous noise. Kid in the laboratory. Oh. Warden Krieg. I did not expect that. You oh, just that. had to go ahead and shoot him. Well, I didn't shoot him, I shot one of his lackeys. Did you stun me? Dickhead. Oh, he's back. Oh, look. Gotta be honest, his speech was... kinda... Wow, I'm dead. Portal, please. Okay. <laughs> I barely saw his fucking projectiles. I portaled, buddy. Thank you, booty. Oh! Stop. Uh huh, suck my taint. <laughs> you can read the, the letters. That was very sweet of you. Eeh, I picked up his tainted brain matter. Disgusting. There's a chest. Oh, tainted brain matter. <laughs> eee. Disgusting. There's low play. I finally picked up a uh, chess piece. Uh, that's kind of shit. Alright, a missive to Warden Creek. Warden Creek, excuse this crude form of communication. I am far to the north and it seems my thoughts are unable to reach you. In all future material correspondence we will use our host names 
and common human language forms. I write looking for clarification of recent perplexing reports on your conduct. Is it true that you have been incarcerating and tormenting humans? What is the purpose for this? It would seem that your host's predilections are affecting your own behavior. You must bring this under your control and seize the superfluous activity. Your role is to facilitate our laboratories with the collection of corpses. Limit yourself to the parameters of this task or you will be recalled. Sounds like they just gave us our new quest. Yeah, that definitely sounds like it. Check out these uh, hand these hand guards. Oh. Hello, Mahani. Fuck shit. Well, damn. <laughs> Hello, Mahani. Fuck shit. <laughs> then. Uh, fuck these boots. Thank you. Oh, yeah, then how about these this? Are, these, these, are, these are real good. Uh, uh, holy moly. The, the damage is... Bleh, but everything else is just... I'm, I'm, I'm having a bit of a boner. I'm, I'm sorry, people of the YouTube space. He's not sorry. I am fully erect right now. He's not sorry. He's proud of it. And he should be. It's a beautiful boner. Oh, I got nothing for you, so that's... You got so nothing for me? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, nutting, I'm, I'm nutting all over you. I like that. Unfortunately, I don't have anything for you. That's okay. But now I got nine dudes. Don't you worry about it. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to sell that. You can buy it back. back here. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Hmm. No. Mm. Hmm. Mm. No. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. No. Uh, no. See you around. I see you are around. Wow, that is so rude. Why? There's some uh, lightning um, shoulder pieces in this yeah. other guy. That's. I think I'm. I'm more fire based still. Uh, yeah, of course. But I appreciate the hits up. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Your inventory right now, a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I just did them without any commentary at all. Well, I'm a professional, if you didn't notice. Oh, wait, you are? No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, we, we are professionals. We do this for a living. We're not awkward. We're not bumbling over our words constantly. Um, yeah, we're, we're very good at what we do. Yeah, definitely. Who's Mornay? I have no idea. Let's cool. uh, la, 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 la. move along. Let's I talk to uh, Bourbon. Yeah, and I, I clicked Mornay. He said he is here to speak with the captain. I will click Bourbon, Bourbon, Barbie, yes. and he we'll will be voiced over. So yeah. Is it finished? Talk to Barbie. Is the warden dead? We tracked the warden down and took his life. The warden's defeat is a great victory for us, nay, for all of humankind. But there are many more quick. ethereals out there, some much more powerful than Krieg. Perhaps more disturbing, though, there are those of our own kind who would see us dead to take what little we have, or just for the pleasure of killing. Among the innocent who passed through this prison on their way to Krieg's lab were many violent criminals, murderers, and worse. Many of them escaped to the northwest after the grim dawn, forming into ruthless gangs who prey upon drifters still traveling the roads. Since a river separates us and them, they have not been a problem thus far. Except we need farmers to get back to the business of growing food 
before we all starve to death. The farmland that supplies this region is to the northwest, uh. and we need to secure a hold there. Excuse me. Mornay recently returned from Old Arcovia to the northwest and can give you details on the outlaw situation and what needs to be done. I realize that you have been through much in recent days, but we cannot rest just yet. That was a whole lot of conversation that he just had with me. Essentially, he's saying there's like a river separating us from the northwest region. And in that northwest region, we need to clear it to have farmland so we cannot, uh, so we can not starve, you know. And the guy Mornay has some more information about that kind of shit because they're like bad boys living up there. And we need to speak to him, basically. So, yeah, we, we should do that, I guess. Yeah, there's another quest. Uh, there's an emissary, but I it's like that you were next to the water pump, right. so talk to Mornay first. Yeah, I will talk to him first. Let's see if he's voiced over. So you must be the kid that's causing a stir he in is. my absence. You've done good by dispatching Krieg. I knew that man in life. I dread to think of what he had become as an ethereal. Uh, he knew Krieg, and he's happy that we dispatched of him. Captain Bourbon said to speak with you about the outlaws. Hi. An old mess has come back to finally bite us right in the ass. The river's kept them at bay for now, what with the broken bridge. It seems the bastards have garnered a taste for the one hole in the world they were once so eager to escape. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're at war, and if we don't take the fight to them, they will surely bring it to us. I'd much rather fight on my own terms, wouldn't you? So, yeah, he... Yeah, it's basically, you know, there's outlaws to the west and the broken bridge is keeping them separated, but it's probably going to be a war and we'd much rather take it to them than them taking it to us. So what's the plan of action? Before we do anything, I guess we have to we'll repair need to the get bridge. that bridge repaired. Mm -hmm. Got That's men ready correct. to do the work and some scrap to get you started. Just need to provide the remaining raw materials. Once that's all finished, I need you to enter the Arcovian foothills and show those bastards we're not a prize for the taking. Last I saw of them, they were mobilizing for something big across the river. Why don't you head on over there and introduce yourself? Um, yeah, basically we need to fix the bridge and then get, go over there and fuck some people up to make a statement, a statement basically. But what happened to your expedition to the northwest? Uh, wow, well, that's not voiced over anymore. I set out with another scout, Elsa, to Rick. Rick Honorer lands to the northwest shortly after we had secured Devil's Crossing. What we found was a wasteland, overrun with predatory beasts, blood hungry psychopaths, and refugees living in constant terror on the run. Our mission together ended w when a vicious band of outlaws surprised us in the night. Elsa had argued against having a fire that night, but I was sure we were concealed. I wasn't cautious enough and she paid the price. I thought I could protect her from anything, but when it came to it, I was felled by a bullet to the ribs before the fighting even broke out. I also fought on like a devil, taking down two of the outlaws before they knocked her out. They took her with them and just left me here uh, left me there to die. I couldn't give up though, knowing that those thugs had Elsa. I hobbled and then crawled, trying to make my way back to Devil's Crossing, but arrived only to find that the bridge had been destroyed. I collapsed in despair and thought it was the end of me. I awoke some time later in what remained of a little fishing village on the coast. A band of rovers had found me and treated my wounds. As soon as I could stand, I grabbed a dinghy rowboat and made my way back to Devil's Crossing. I'll be damned if I'm going, ba uh, going to abandon Elsa to torture or worse at the hands of those killers. She's all I've got left in this world. We need to organize an offensive and every second counts. Don't you think you are mixing personal vendetta into this? The Grim Dawn took my wife. Elsa's like a daughter to me, and I'm not going to let her uh, let it take her too. Where I see it, Devil's Crossing needs the situation resolved as soon as possible, and I want those scum dead for taking Elsa. Seems our goal's a lion, eh? Very well. Wait, do that? Uh, apparently. I don't really care about Elsa. But Elsa cares about you. Really? I don't fucking know. I thought it's something sweet to say. Oh, looky, looky. Oh, looky, looky. Good talk, no. Okay. More talking. Ah, we speak at last. As I am sure you know, there are many who now cast their gaze upon you, traveler. Or should I say, taker. 
Some who mean you ill, some who fear your potential. Then there are those who command me. They have taken great interest in your accomplishments. It appears you may be just the one we require. Okay, so he's a sussy bucker. You know, that's what the kids say nowadays. Uh, <laughs> he's the Don't emissary. Don't ever say that again. I will punch you in the nuts. What do you mean, sussy buck? <laughs> Yeah, don't ever say that again. <laughs> so anyway. I will come over to your house just to punch you in the gonads. So anyways, what this sussy bugger was saying... <laughs> <laughs> <You're> motherfucker! <laughs> no, but seriously, the emissary is like... Uh, I will just read it to you because it's... You know, he says, ah, we speak at last. As I am sure you know, there are many who now cast their gaze upon you, traveler. Or should I say, taken? Some who mean you ill, some who fear your potential. Then there are those who command me. They have taken great interest in your accomplishments. It appears you may be just the one we require. Uh, then we can ask you require me? For what? We can say, uh, I think we'll be going. Or we can say, hold that thought. So to continue the conversation, I think uh, you require us? No, I'm, I'm, for what? I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah. I cannot speak of such things in this place. The cursed gaze of our foes is cast upon us here, so I will be brief. Great powers are gathering within the distant lands of the fallen Corvan people, and the Great Eye has decreed that you must play a part, whatever that may be. Will you answer our summons? Will you join me through the portal? Or do the mortal concerns of these people outweigh the cause of fate? Okay, now it makes a lot of sense, I suppose. The emissary says uh, he cannot speak of such things in this place. Basically, blah blah blah. You know, have to go somewhere else. Uh, will you answer our summons? Will you join me through the portal? Or do the mortal concerns of these people outweigh the calls of fate? And then, in brackets, it says, "This begins the Forgotten Gods expansion content." So. Oh, okay. No, fuck that. Yeah, I think we have other matters to attend to first. Yeah. Stupid ass sussy bucker. Fucking hate you right now. <laughs> so we can go further north, right? No, I think we cannot. Unless we like take the little boat and wherever that drops us off. Yeah, true. But I think the bridge that we need to fix is like the one at the bottom, right? Because it leads west and then we can go north and then it's northwest, right? And, and this is the southern bridge, right? Yeah, old growth right. bridge repair site. Why are there so many broken bridges? What what happened? Sure, Grim uh, Dawn and everything, but why did every bridge just collapse? Is, th is this the one? The Arcovian Foothills Bridge? Yeah, Arcovian Foothills, that's where we gotta go. There, repaired it. Fucking nice. Fucking A. Shouldn't be saying that word too often, huh? Look fuck, at that shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, they have yeah, guns? Shot. Why do they have guns? I thought I'm the only person with a gun. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. You seem to be enjoying it though. I nearly flippin' died. They dropped some cool looking shit though. Yeah, You're I gonna got love literally this. zero pieces of gear. <laughs> You're gonna love this place. Oh shit, that does look cool. Oh my goodness. Cock knuckle. <laughs> Knuckle. It's a rare heavy helm. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's some fancy ass loot right there. Did All right, wear then. It no, I cannot wear it because I don't have the physique for it. I'm a, I'm a weak man. Oh, look. Oh, oh shit. Enemy hero killed. Well, I got my uh, scrap. Well, well, at least a piece of scrap back. That's good. I mean, if you want, I can drop you one, two, or three, or seven. No, 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 no. It's fine. How much scrap Take do I deck. actually have? 47, you know, I could share with you. I got 41. I'm good. Are you really? Yeah. Okay, glad to hear it. I appreciate it, though. 
So yeah, finally some new land. Doesn't look as gloomy. Yeah, definitely. They hit, they hit like Mack trucks though. Wait, what's a Mack truck? It's a truck made by Apple. <laughs> Just a Mack truck. Where from McDonald's? I don't know. A McDonald's truck. Man, now I'm in the mood for McDonald's. Same, actually, I'm getting kind of hungry. Owie, bowie. Yeah, they do you know, like Mack trucks. I haven't had McDonald's in years. Oh, like, what? literally. What? I, I clicked a person on the ground by accident. There's someone living there. It's in there. Edmund Shanks Doyle. I just wanted to pick up the scrap, to be honest. Can you... Yeah, you can actually just run over it. It automatically picks up scrap? So? so what does Edmund Chang say? Doyle. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Darius wants this prison and when he finds out what you've done, he'll wish I shanked you dead. Rest in peace, scum. Didn't work. Probably because I missed my shots, but whatever. Hmm. Definitely a change in scenery though, and I like that, you know, it's a little bit less gloomy yeah. like you said. Yeah, yeah. Mm, oh my. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. Indeed. Oh yeah. Give me all of that loot. Man, it's, it hasn't even been five minutes yet, and I'm already like, <laughs> so much crap. Yeah. And it's it's it's, it's literally crap. Some of it, yeah. This more, offense more of it. is is five percent more damage, but all the other stats are dog shit. Doggy poo poo. Fuck it. I got a book. Wait, wait, where are you going? Well, I thought. Here. Me? Uh, I, I thought I thought you were running off well. Oh look, it's a new kind of four-legged enemy as well. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you saw me level. Kaiman's retreat or Kimon? I really Small. should. I, re I really should have just gone without you. Steven Skinner. Hello, Steven. Stand back. I'm burning the shack down. My family does not need to suffer any longer in this horrible world. Is your family in there? Are you insane? Stay out of this. It's for the best. Uh, we can tell them we can't do this. Well, look, things are bad, but we can't lose hope. Uh. Yeah, can't lose hope. Yeah, yeah. What hope is there left? Good people are dying and the world is overrun with monstrosities we use to spook our children with. I will not have my family suffer any longer. Uh, we can say others have managed to survive. You can too. Or I come from Devil's Crossing. It's safe there. Yeah. Let's tell well, there's them. Have, uh, we're, we're from Devil's Crossing. You can go there too. Yeah, sure. It's, it's safe there. You can even bring your family. Safe? What's safe anymore? We were safe out here once too. Look at this place now. We defend it. There is shelter and drinking water. Please join us. It's our only option to say. Yeah. Perhaps this is the fresh start we needed. I really hope you speak the truth. All right, take us there. I'll see you and your family there. Open as I mean rift goal. Rift 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 gate. Yeah. A rift goal. <laughs> he was he was about to fucking burn his family alive. It would have been fun to see, to be honest. Honestly, I'm uh, second second guessing our choice here. <laughs> like, do we want Pyromaniac in Devil's Crossing? Uh, at least the, he's like surrounded by people that would beat his ass. Who there do you think is, <laughs> you know, any good in a okay. fight? You ready? Yes. Bourbon, probably. Kimon, first passage. 
They mocked us and drove us out. They called us heretics and madmen. They f they thought our great prophecy and purpose was fanciful and ridiculous. Woe unto them! Behold the divine wrath that has been delivered unto the unbelievers in the remaking of the world. A, proph a prophecy has come to pass, and I hear not laughter any more. I hear only deathly silence. Doom has befallen the wicked, the ignorant, and the indolent. Only we, chosen few, who have trained and prepared our bodies and our souls to weather the cleansing of the world, will survive and thrive amongst this death and decay. <clears throat> Look to your right and to your left, in front and behind you. You see the faces of your hollowed brothers and sisters, bonded together in this holy quest. We have been tasked with the sacred duty to extinguish the last remnants, remnants of corruption and reseed the purified land with their progeny so that the new dawn can arise. Take strength in each other and in the knowledge that we are destined to fulfill this divine purpose. Long have we prepared for this moment and our time of concealment is ending. We will strike forth, boldly northward into our destiny. Let not the fatalists, the corrupted or the demonic stand in our path, lest our divine wrath be visited upon them. Now muster my children, gather only those belongings that can profit us in our holy war and let us march forth from this humble refuge unto destiny. So, Kaimon is definitely very, very uh, happy to write. Yeah. What a dick. Yeah. Making me read. So, we've passed the half hour mark. Let's find a good spot to. to oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good point, I think. Killing a hero. Getting some more loot. We can sell. Cut. Or. Cut and sell. Doesn't that sound marvelous, fancy? Yeah, sure, sure. It's a necessity. So, in the next episode, that was this perfectly synchronized rift opening. Yeah, two little titties. <laughs> two little titties that we will now leave you guys with. So, yeah. We will see you in the next episode. And until then, you take good care and goodbye. Bye.